so I've made this remove before flight tag. And I want to use it across the model, like I've done in a few places already. I will create an assembly asset for this, even if it's just local. You can of course still decide to reuse this in other projects later as well, but all I care about now is this project here. So in the 3D Views sidebar I bring up the Asset Browser Tools panel and create the asset using the default settings. And already it's in the Asset Browser and I can drag it into the scene. I could use it as is right now, but due to the way I've built it in this location here, the asset origin is quite a bit off from the actual asset. But what I can do now is adjust the offset of the origin afterwards. You can either adjust it numerically, or you can set the offset from an object or the cursor. To do it from an object, pick one of the original objects the asset was assembled from, then shift select the asset to make it active, and hit the from object button to set the asset's origin. Or you can place your cursor, again relative to the original objects, and set the offset from that. I use hyper cursor here of course. And yes that is still unreleased right now, but it's getting there. Use whatever you have, including the native cursor placement tool, or the machine tools cursor pi, which is more than sufficient for this. But maybe I want the asset origin at the tip of the tag. And that too works of course. You can see that while the cursor Z axis, and so the up direction, is aligned like this, the origin of the asset still points up in the world Z direction. At this point Blender only supports offsetting the location of collection assets. I hope in future they will support orientation offsets as well. Anyway, the asset is ready to use and I can distribute it across the scene now. As in previous versions, you can of course disassemble these assets to get access to the individual objects. And also as before, you can update the thumbnail afterwards too. So make sure there is an object selection, select the asset itself, and from the asset browser, hit the update thumbnail button. What's new now in Machine Tools 1.11 is, that you can update thumbnails of some other asset types as well. It now works for regular object assets, for regular collection assets, for material assets, and for pose and action assets too. If there is any other type you need, let me know. Let's say I want to make this object here an asset. So just mark it as an asset from the outliner, then find it in the asset browser and update the thumbnail. No clue what Blender did with the colors there. And let's do the ring as well. And if you want to combine them, create an assembly asset again. Let's do a material next. Mark it an asset from the materials tab. I add a camera for some depth of field in the background. And then just ensure both the asset and an object in the 3D view are selected, and then render the new thumbnail. Finally, let's do a pose asset as well. I think this will work with actions too, but I haven't tested so feel free to let me know. Create the pose asset like so. Apply the pose by double clicking on it. Now to update the thumbnail, go into object mode, with the armature selected and hit the button again. And now nothing but the background is visible. Because Blender doesn't render the armature, it's an overlay only. So what you can now do is hold down the Alt Mod key, to ensure overlays appear in the thumbnail too.